brand new 2014 31.5 BH TS Eagle Touring Edition. Just came in here at Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The Eagle Touring is a new segment in the Eagle family. The idea here is that you get the uh, the features and the quality of the full-blown Eagle Travel Trailer, but in a, uh, a smaller package um, that comes a little bit closer to the Eagle HT series. It's something in between. Um, obviously a little bit bigger and heavier than the Eagle HTs, but not nearly as big as a full-blown Eagle. Now, uh, just like every other Eagle, this is fully vacuum laminated. Um, a lot of trailers with uh, fiberglass skin, especially in the mid-profile class, they will have laminated sidewalls, but they won't have the sides of the slide won't be laminated. The rear wall won't be laminated on most fiberglass skin trailers. Um, this has Jayco's Magnum Truss roofing system, meaning you can basically get up there and have a barn dance on the roof and have no problems. I obviously don't recommend that, but you probably could. Um, we've added the rear travel rack here. Again, this is a model that's really designed for the family on the go. Um, the uh, outdoor kitchen here is really cool. And it has a second dedicated awning strictly for the outdoor kitchen. Now, it might seem a little strange that it's a manual awning instead of a power, but that's actually not a bad thing because if you want to, if it's really raining, you can lower this awning almost, uh, you know, completely down flush level with the trailer. So it can just be blustering outside and you can still be grilling and you can be undercover. Plus they have, oops, they have this big giant storage closet out here. It actually goes all the way up to the ceiling of the trailer. You can put anything you want in there. Fishing poles, tall things like that, that's a perfect spot for them. Um, a lot of people don't realize, Jayco's don't make a big deal out of it, but almost every one of their travel trailers and fifth wheels is set up for an outdoor TV. These are your plugs, there's your coax, you're all set. Um, this is standard with Jayco's climate shield package, uh, meaning enclosed, insulated, heated underbellies. Um, the, uh, the term Four Seasons gets thrown around very willy-nilly in the RV industry, and uh, I don't necessarily know that this is a true Four Seasons coach, but it is as Four Seasons as the other things that, uh, you know, uh, dedicate themselves that way. You notice we also put on the, uh, the touchless, or pardon me, the, the keypad entry system here. Uh, what's cool about that is because this is a bunkhouse, you've got a lot of people coming and going. So if you want to uh, lock up the trailer, you can do that, and everyone just needs to know the passcode. They don't have to have individual keys. This is very similar to a 32BHDS type travel trailer. Um, same concept, a little bit different application. I really like the uh, the big uh, horseshoe lounge here in the dinette, or pardon me, in the slide. You see, there's easy storage access on their both sides. If you look. I see there's storage compartments under each side of the booth as well. So that entire thing is storage. Plus, you notice big windows here in the slide. And really what this reminds me of is very much the way that they put together slides now in toy haulers. They generally won't have overhead cabinets because they don't tend to be used very often. Instead, you get bigger windows and a big lounge. So that's, that's you know, reminiscent of something I would see maybe out of the Jayco Seismic line. And that just kind of tells you the uh, the thought and the ingenuity and the quality that they're putting into something like this Eagle Touring, um, which is, you know, it's it's not the $90,000 Seismic, but it still has a lot of the same applications going on. Something that's a little different, but actually kind of neat, is the drawer system here on the top drawers of the Eagle Tourings. They all have that, just something a little bit different. Residential hardware here, again, in this class, that's not a common thing. These also have an eight cubic foot fridge instead of a six. That means 30% uh, more time camping and not at the grocery store. The rear bunkhouse does have a slide out, which we're looking at right now. The overhead bunk flips up like I have it here in the daytime. You can convert the uh, lower bed into a lounge like I have it. You could uh, flip those things around to become more like a sofa. And you see the kids are not hurting for storage back here, nor are they hurting for space. Each of these bunks over here is kind of like a bunk and a half. It is a little bit bigger. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, plus, the kids also have this giant 
wardrobe closet, floor to ceiling, and then a giant um, just general storage closet. Uh, you know, good for linens, blankets, pillows, extra things like that. Anything, man. You know, I'm looking at this down here. I'm thinking that bottom, that bottom row, that's perfect for a shoe rack because. Uh, if you've camped with a bunch of kids like I have, you know that the shoes always end up in a big pile by the front door. So if you give the kids a space to put those, it's going to make everyone's lives a little bit better. We always like to upgrade the air conditioner in these uh, to a 15,000 instead of a 13.5. Gives you a 50% more cooling power. The television is included, by the way. We have Jayco ship those loose so that you are the first people to touch them when they come in. And again, you know, not... Not the uh, the biggest, baddest thing Jayco makes, but quality is not an issue here. This is still a member of the best constructed mid-profile um, fifth wheel family out there. Up here in the bedroom, to help keep the weight down, um, rather than a full bed slide, they opted for a wardrobe slide because it still gives you the storage of a fifth wheel bedroom slide, but you cut down to about a third of the weight. <clears throat> so that's roughly about 18 inches deep made for hanging space you have a matching one right next to it now this slide does sneak into the bathroom a little bit so it does have a dedicated section strictly for bathroom space as well big standing shower so you don't have to bonk your elbows on the walls while you're trying to wash your hair you see uh, central heat vents go all the way through the floor, even up to here. And that is, uh, it doesn't necessarily look impressive from this angle, so let me move a little bit. But this is a very large medicine cabinet. Give you an idea of the depth we're looking at here. A lot of them have a pill bottle depth size uh, medicine cabinet. Pardon my voice and my sniffling here. Fighting a little bit of a cold, so thanks for bearing with me. Give us a call, 800-256-5196, Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan.